This is a tutorial on the Bermuda Cube Neptune, which has three triangles, all with their hypotenuses facing outwards from each other. So when you're doing this one, the first thing you would want to start off solving are the parts that are not related to the triangles. So that would be the red, yellow, and green sides, this area right here. And the same as when you're mixing. So when you're mixing or solving this puzzle, it's always easier to start off without involving the triangles. And when you want to use triangles, then just take them out and then mix them like the other pieces. Okay, so once it's mixed, as I said before, you want to start off solving the parts that don't have to do with the triangles. So that would be the green, yellow, and red in this puzzle. And for this one, you want to solve this 2x2 two two section in here. So this edge piece, edge piece, edge piece, and corner piece. So to do that, you have to first align these triangles in a way where you can move these parts fairly easily. So I have to choose one of these as my bottom. I'll choose white for now. And for this one you want to have the hypotenuse facing away from the other two or yeah, away from the other two triangles. And then from there you want the two triangles to look like this so that you can freely move the top layer. And from here I have to gather as many of these pieces as I can find, here the yellow and red, I need a yellow and green, a green and red, and that corner piece. So now I'm looking for the yellow and green, that's right here. So now I need this piece up onto this layer. And from here, I'm just going to flip this around, which is pretty simple. And now I want the corner piece that goes in between here. So that would be yellow, red, and green. That piece is right here. I'm going to take it out. And now using, it's not really much of an algorithm, just have to play around with it until you get this piece and these two pieces connected. So, I've connected these two pieces, and now I want to connect this edge piece and this corner piece with this other edge piece. So I have this part of my 2x2 two two cube done and since I can't reach this part this edge piece from this layer I want to now choose a different triangle to be my bottom and start from a different angle so I'll choose my blue this time so again I want my hypotenuse to be away from the other two triangles and then posi position the triangles like this and now I can solve for this green and red piece so that piece right here and bring it up to the top layer and just like before just connect them so now my 2x2 two two, uh, cube finished and now I want to start on the triangles for these triangles the easiest way to do that is to solve for the this other triangle that goes here by the hypotenuse because it's easier to maneuver with these pieces so you want to be able to move, so when, it, when you have less pieces to solve, you want to have the most easy to use set of pieces. So just pick one of these pentagons, which goes on the hypotenuse of these triangles. I'll pick the blue one, and I want to solve for this triangle, so this pentagon and the two corners that go with it. So my two blue corner pieces are here to move that up to that layer and this one doesn't have much of an algorithm either it's just manipulating them to solve okay, P 
piece just fell out. Okay, so Okay, so I have a piece here. And now I just need the red and blue corner piece. Okay, so now I've finished my triangle. And I want to put this right here. So to do that, I'm going to use this orange side. Because using the orange side, I can get the blues together. So I want to use this orange side and make sure that none of these three pieces are in the way of the blue. And I'm just going to substitute that in. So this part is done. And now, since this orange triangle already has a piece attached, I'll work on the orange now. Here's the other orange corner. Okay, now I've finished that part again, and this time I'll try to use a white triangle since I can't really use this blue anymore. If I try to use it with the blue, then while solving for this orange, I'd mess up the blue again. So instead of doing that, I'm going to use the white side. So using this white, I'm going to take it out of the way and then substitute it into the hypotenuse. And now for the last one, the white triangle. And I'm done with that. But, as I've told you before, if you already try to use a triangle that has this triangle section solved, then you're going to end up messing that triangle while solving for the other one. So right now, since two of these triangles are full, I can't really use either of these to put this triangle back here to this hypotenuse where I want it to be. So now, instead of using these triangles, I'm going to have to use one of these pieces. So the green, red, or yellow. So again, I had to pick one of the triangles as my bottom piece. I'll choose the blue. So the blue already has hypotenuse away from these two triangles, so I don't have to worry about that. And now, I want to position these triangles like this. And from here, I'm just going to take this green side and move it around and then substitute it back in. So now that part is done, but since I messed this part up, all I have to do is put this one back in. And that's fairly simple. So now my cube is complete, and these three triangular sections are also complete. So now to solve for this part. And this just uses a lot of substitution moves to manipulate these edge pieces. So right now I just want to get all the edge pieces to be solved. So from here I'll take these two, um, do an algorithm like F R inverted, F inverted R and just repeat that in its varied forms to solve. 
So now I have this, these three edge pieces completed, and now I want these corner pieces. So right now I have one corner piece down here solved, and these three not solved. When you get into a situation like that, you want to take these three pieces, move them up to a red, yellow, or green side, and then rotate them. So since you can't do any normal 3x3x3 algorithms for the third layer as you usually do on this puzzle because of these triangles, I came up with a slightly different, more convoluted method. So I'm going to take these three and move them up to the red layer. And by moving them in this way, like one, two, this orange, which is the bottom, automatically has the hypotenuse away from the two triangles, and the two triangles are automatically in a position where it's easy to maneuver. So from here, I'm going to take these three pieces and I'm going to try to rotate them. So I'm going to start here, and this is a basic 3x3 algorithm that you can do on this puzzle. So I'll do R, U, R inverted, U, R, 2U, R inverted. But now I have to get this back here. So now I'm going to move this over so that this piece I took out is now in front. From here I'll do F, R inverted, F inverted, R, then 2U, F inverted, U inverted, F. And then just move it back. And right now, although they didn't get into the correct positions, they did rotate. So this piece is still where it should be, and not to rotate these one more time in the same direction. So again, just move one, two. So these are my three pieces. I'll start from the left. And it's R, U, R inverted, U, R, 2U, R inverted. Move it to the front, so U. And then F, R inverted, F inverted, R. And then from here, 2U, F inverted, U inverted, F, and move back. And now, all of them are now in the correct places. If you have three of these corner pieces that have to be turned, then you're going to do the same thing as before, except I'm going to move these up here. Not to figure out in which direction I have to do that R, U, R inverted, U, R, 2U, R inverted technique to rotate these correctly. So now the purpose of this is to rotate all these corners by moving them so that they are in the correct orientation. So I want to have all the oranges facing up. So looking over here, if I rotate it this way, then this orange side will be up. So start out like this, and they have to go counterclockwise, so I'll start from the right this time. From here I'll do L inverted, U inverted, L, U inverted, L inverted, 2, U, and L. And this time, instead of taking this piece and moving it back over here, I want to take this piece, this yellow and red piece and move it over to here. So I'm going to start with this in the front and I want to use this as my right side. So this algorithm will take these two and swap them. But also on a regular cube it would also swap these two edge pieces and then you have to do that one more time, swap them again to get these two edge pieces correct. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here, except since this isn't a regular cube and doesn't have exactly have three layers, I'm going to use this as my top layer, and then I'm going to use this as my 2U, or my bottom layer. So from here, so whenever I say 2, well, R I meant, so whenever I say 2R, or 2R inverted, or whatever, that just means to take this triangle and move that to the top, or move back to the same position as in before. So from here, 2, R, U, 2, R, U, 2, R, 2, U, 2, R, 2, U, 2, R, U, 
2R, U inverted, and 2R. And now I want to swap these two pieces to get this yellow and red piece into the correct place. So I'll move that to the front and to the right and do it again. So 2R, U, 2R, 2U, uh, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, 2R, U, 2R, U inverted, and 2R. And now I'll just move it back.